Ladies and gentlemen, hello. I'm Hong Weizhi. It is very great pleasure indeed for me to be able to attend this meeting. Today, I'd like to present my paper, a survey on meta learning based Fisher classification, cooperated by Ming and Yongle. My presentation will cover the following aspects. In the first part of the report, I'm going to begin with a few general comments concerning Fusion Learning, and then there is definition of Fusion Learning and the description of the problems. It also introduces some main application of Fusion Learning and some relevant learning problems. The next, it's about the specific classification of Fusion Learning including matrix-based learning approach, optimization-based learning approach, and a model-based learning approach, which will be elaborated later. Finally, the conclusion of the paper and the outlook for the future. Data-intensive application have achieved great success in the field of machine learning. How to ensure that the machine can still learn correctly in the absence of labeled tip sample as the next challenging problems uh, to be solved. Inspired by the human process of learning new things, we hope that machines can also learn new knowledge from a few samples. In recent years, uh, future learning has attracted more and more attention. At the same time, many learning methods are also developing rapidly. The purpose of meta learning is to let the machine learn to learn. In practice, it is found that the meta learning methods fit well with the few short learning problems. The main purpose of this paper is to conduct a comprehensive study of meta learning methods based on solving few short problems, focusing on the analysis of typical strategies. In this paper. The existing few-shot learning methods are divided into three categories, namely metric-based learning methods, optimization-based learning methods, and model-based learning methods. The latest research on the, these three categories will be discussed uh, spiritually. It must be noticed that uh, there is no clear boundaries between these three categories. This paper will analysis of various methods of each category in detail. Um, how to define Fusion Learning? Uh, Fusion Learning is a kind of machine learning problem that how to learn the model in the case of insufficient effective samples. The data, uh, the data set contains three categories, training set, support set, and cryo set. Um, there are large-scale labeled data in the Chinese set, uh, containing uh, numerous different classes and many samples in each class, which is used to train the uh, used to train train the models. The support set usually contain n class. Generally, there are no classes in uh, intersection between the uh, support set and the Chinese set. Each class of the support set has k samples. According to the size of the support set, we call the future learning problem based on the support set as the n-way k sharp problem. The query set is used for the final model test. The goal of future learning is to use the model trained uh, by the training set to identify the labels of the samples in the query set. The class of the query set is not included in the training set, but included in the support set. That is, uh, the class of the query set is new for the model. Most of uh, most of the existing future learning is applied in the field of computer vision, such as handwriting, character recognition, and image classification, because it is. Uh, easy to obtain the visual information, and this method has been uh, well tested on previous machine learning problems. At present, there are two benchmark data set, uh, Mini ImageNet and Omega Lot in image classification and character recognition, and they are have achieved high accuracy on two data set. 
Therefore, more computer vision applications、uh, can be exploited, such as image segmentation,、uh, neural style transfer, image、uh, reconstruction, and image generalization.、Uh, in addition to computer vision applications, other fields have been gradually using the idea of future learning, such as future translation and future language modeling.、Uh, in Uh, natural language processing. In the field of machine learning, there are many cross-domain learning problems with future learning, including weakly supervised learning, transfer learning, and multitask learning. This section will、uh, clarify the relevance and differences、uh, between vi- these problems and future learning, so as to determine its applicable、uh, scenarios. Weakly supervised learning, including semi-supervised learning and active learning. Semi-supervised learning refers to learning optimal、uh, assumptions in the mixed data with and without labels. Active learning refers to reducing the cost of labeling by some technical means or mathematical methods. Future learning is different from this. It can be supervised learning, semi-supervised learning, and reinforced learning, which depends on what data are available in addition to limited supervised information. Transfer learning uses the experience of the、uh, source task to improve the learning of the ta-、uh, target task. The knowledge learned from the source domain and source task of a large amount of Training,、uh, training data is transferred to the target domain, and target task with limited training data. The inner thinking is based on the human inference, while improved the utilization of data. Transfer learning method is widely used in future learning. Multitask learning is a, a derivation transfer learning method. The main task uses the domain-specific information processed by the chaining signal of the related task as an inductive bias to improve the generalization effect of the、uh, main task. Multitask learning involves、uh, parallel learning of multiple related tasks at the same time. The gradient is back propagated at the same time, and multitask. Help each other or learn through the underlying shared representation to improve the generalization effect. And in the metric-based learning methods, we often use the metric、uh, criteria we decided to judge the distance of the sample in the future space. Such、uh, learn methods、uh, generalize, including the A feature encoded E and the metric function M. The feature encoded E is used to extract the input feature and convert it into a feature vector on the new feature space. The distance between the vectors is judged by the metric function M. Commonly used、uh, measurement criteria are、uh, Euclidean distance, Minkowski distance. Uh, cosine similarity and so on. In the problem of future learning, the model trained on the training set by the、uh, by this method has the ability to judge the similarity between samples. For example, in relation networks, embedding major F five is feature encoded E, and relation major G five is metric function M. In the same way. The corresponding measure can also be found in meta baseline. From the perspective of the generalization performance of future classification, many existing metric-based methods have problems. That is, there are significant、uh, differences in the distribution of image features extracted from tasks in different domains. Therefore,、uh, in the training phase. Uh, the metric function may overfit the feature distribution encoded 
only from the non-domain, result in the inability to generalize to other domains. To solve the cross-domain problem, the core idea is to use a feature-based transformation layer to enhance image feature through applying transformation in the training phases uh, to similar simulate virus feature distribution in different domains, thereby improving the generalization ability of the metric function in the test of physics. Um, in traditional learned method, uh, many of the entire training state need to be designed by humans, including the network architectures, uh, the initialization parameters, and the way to obtain the parameters, etc. When we choose a different design, we get a different learning method. Uh, when the training states are adjusted uh, artificially, it is difficult to achieve the desired efficiency and accuracy. The optimization-based learning method uh, consider whether the a machine can learn to part of the training steps by itself. Um, unlike pre-training, uh, Mamo will update the gradient twice first and update to uh, update the parameter in the direction of the second update. Reptile is similar to a Mamo. It will update several steps in advance and then update the gradient according to the direction of it, its vector sum. Um, the model-based learning approach aims to uh, finding the optimal architecture where the model can update parameter quickly mainly thanks to uh, the internal structure of the model or uh, controlled by other meta-learning models. The major difference between this approach and the metric-based approach it is that, that it does not make assumption about the uh, from about the form of conditional probabilities, but rely on the model that can learn quickly. So in this paper, we summarize and analysis the classical methods of visual learning from different uh, perspectives by comparing the lattice research. The metric-based learning methods is limited because it is prone to overfitting when the numbers of sample is too small. And the method is uh, relatively picky about the data set, which can appear to perform well on some tasks but poorly on others. And this method has low uh, uh, robustness. Optimization-based learning methods or a parameter Parametrics methods usually require multiple update states to reach a better point when updating ways. Uh, using gradient uh, descent because of the limitation in optimizer selection and learning rate settings. It makes the learning process so slowly when the model process on a new task. A model-based approaches are very, very good at handling learning with a uh, few samples, but they are usually poor at generalization because it is ambiguous whether the model can successfully uh, empt a large training set into a base model. Research on visual learning with deep learning has grown rapidly over the past few years, and as a result, applying visual learning models to practical applications will raise, receive more attention in the case how to ensure the accuracy and computation efficiency of the model at the same time as one of the most challenging problems. Existing field shot learning methods usually use previous knowledge from a sing, uh, single mod modalities, while prior knowledge from multiple modalities can provide Prior knowledge for uh, complementary, com but different modalities may contain different structure and need to be handled carefully.
carefully. The use of multitask, multi-modal information in the design of future learning methods is a direction for future research. So, uh, the both content is all my presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.